Hey, what's up? This is Tyler G of Batman Figs on Instagram. That is Batman F I G S on Instagram. And we are about to take a look and review the next figure that was sent by Soap Studios. And it is one of my favorite uh, TV shows, especially the first couple of seasons. And it is the Green Arrow, Oliver Queen, or as he was called in the first season, The Hood. So, we're going to take a look at his accessories first and things he comes with. Then go into some articulation and then size comparison. And I know that you, can't, you, you don't have it in hand, you can't see it in person, you can only see it on camera. But I really am blown away by how awesome these two figures are. The details, um, the likenesses and the portraits. Just the how good the articulation is. How all the accessories have great functions like the arrow he's able to wear almost all of his accessories on his person with his quiver his bow his arrows so he even has a functioning zipper and the other thing that i really really am impressed with and the fact that these are soft good figures are that they don't have that puffy look um like the other company mezco that does soft goods tends to have a puffy look um, their portraits seem to be a little off, especially if you've seen that Wonder Woman. That Mezco Wonder Woman, I just think it looks <laughs> really bad. It looks like someone that had uh, seafood and is allergic to seafood. They're just puffy. Just the head looks a couple sizes too big. But enough of that. I'm just impressed with these figures and how uh, Soap Studios is able to execute them. And even the bow works. The bow string is strong enough to be flexed back and do some sick pictures like he's ready to fire it. And speaking of firing it and getting, getting it ready, let's just go for it. So first let me show you the stand because I did that last on the flash. There's the classic arrow emblem. It says arrow on it. Plug in the stand. And it, once again, it doesn't have that flexy thing back here. I like that sleek, allows for more room on the shelf. So that's the stand. He also comes with seven hands in total. Comes with a pair of fists, you know what those look like. A pair of bow grabbing hands or any other item you'd like to have him hold. Comes with a pair of relaxed hands. And he comes with a bow and arrow holding, like if he's about to, he has a bow drawn hand with his two fingers. So all in all, he has seven hands. He also has three long bows, regular size arrows. He has his actual bow. The string actually does flex, feels strong. It doesn't feel like it's going to break. Lots of cool details and weathering. It comes with a quiver that uh, you would put over his right shoulder. And it connects down here with a Velcro. You could easily store the arrows in there. He comes with his list of names of people who have failed this city and must perish, which is also really cool. Comes with a head sculpt that doesn't have the green smudge mask on it. And it actually does look a lot like Stephen Amell or Oliver Queen, especially with the right lighting and good picture. But that's not all. He still comes with another three accessories. Those are these little bows. Or, why do I keep calling them bows? These little arrows that you can put in this little holster that in the show he usually has like tranquilizer darts and little darts that he could throw if he needs them. He doesn't have his bow or his other arrows. His hood can be put down and up. It has wires in it to shape it any way you'd like. And here's just a look at his other head sculpt. So the figure overall looks great. And just to prove to you the zipper works. 
zipper works. Then let's go into articulation. He could raise his arms about that high without feeling like you're gonna stretch out the uh, the jacket. I'm not gonna do these 360 because I don't wanna ruin anything. He does have a bicep swivel. He has double jointed elbows that allow him to go pretty high up with it. He has weight, uh, wrist that can move up and down as well as around. His legs go about that far. But you can see you don't want to be stretching out the crotch of the soft goods. So you don't want to move them too much. Of course, I don't think Oliver Queen is doing too much splits anyway. You kick it up pretty high for the soft good pants. He has a double knee. Kicked up pretty high. He has a his boots rotate. And he has ankle rotation, pivot, and hinge. He also has toe articulation, both him and Barry. So again, these figures I'm really, really impressed with. I think Soap Studios for their first uh, time doing figures like these. They're really, really impressive. I would say they're on par already, if not better than Mezco, just for the simple fact that they don't look puffy. The clothes actually work and have them still look sleek and slender. And I know Grant Gustin doesn't like to be called sleek and slender, but he is, and I think it looks great. So yeah, let's do some size comparison real quick while we got him. Here he is next to Barry. And I did that in my Flash one since they're the same scale, same company. And they made Barry a little taller, actually. So that's interesting. I wonder if he's taller in real life. I, I honestly don't know. So if anyone knows, let me know. Here he is next to a Mattel figure. And that one he's a little bit more same size. For that you got a Mafex Batman. About the same size. Oh, they may be a little taller. Here is his fellow buddy from the Arrowverse. That actually fits pretty nice in scale. And here's a NECA 7 inch, just so you can see how that looks. That actually works pretty good, I think. Yeah, that's my review of the Soap Studios Green Arrow. The Flash is, I've already done. And it's waiting if you want to see that. Both these figures ended up being a lot cooler. Um, their accessories are exquisite. The details, the little details in their costumes, uh, in their face sculpts, the ability that for Arrow to have almost all of his accessories on his person at once. It's that kind of thing that just uh, makes collectors happy, the little things, as well as the obvious things. So bravo to Soap Studios. Really, really like these figures. I'm really looking forward to the Christian Bale, uh, and the Christian Bale Batman and Ra's al Ghul uh, training uh, two-pack. I think that looks great from Batman Begins, uh, especially because... We haven't had any figures like that, so based on how the, well they did on these, I'm even more excited. If you want to see more pictures, head over to Batman Figs on Instagram, Batman F-I-G-S. I'll see you later.